The reason I think exercise is the answer to everything is because of the energy and the way it makes you feel, and it's so straightforward in that way. Eating well is a little more personal and more complex because of the ways that we use food. In the end, as I've exercised and eaten well my whole life, I find that nutrition is sort of the foundation to great health. And exercise can be like the medication to you know, uplift your spirits, to give you clarity and perspective, just getting those endorphins. And I think our body, if you look at the human body, it's meant to move. Number one thing when it comes to exercise, get a friend. You have 75% more chance of being successful as far as working out or exercising if you have accountability and you have someone to do it with. And the other thing is, I think it's a great opportunity for busy women or busy moms to actually get together because they're too busy to hang out, to sort of say, okay, we'll meet at eight o'clock, get together and get it done. The other thing is, don't do things that you absolutely hate because the reality is, no matter how much you're committed, you won't do it. So find something realistically that you enjoy doing. If you can't stand the gym, get outside. If you're somebody who prefers yoga over you know, lifting weights, be true to yourself in that commitment. That's really important. And, and lastly, I sort of always look at every day that you wake up reprioritizing the value of things. The reality is, is if you speak to somebody who has lost their physical health, I can tell you it becomes a, a wildly important thing. So I, I sort of always say, don't lose something in order to appreciate it. Take care of it and appreciate it. So get a friend, get some loud, you know, fun music, find things that you like to do and schedule it. Don't break your appointment unless there's an emergency. Write it down like everything else and get it done.